I'm from Canada. I'm lonely. I said, would you like to go and have a coffee or, you know, something at a restaurant close by? So she accepted and we went and uh, got to know each other a wee bit. And I found out where she lived and she found out where I lived. And anyway, I asked her, you know, if she'd like to go to a show or uh, have a, a date. And we, we did agree on that. So anyway, it wasn't too long until we were getting quite chummy. She lived, her family lived about 55 miles south of Pittsburgh in a town called Uniontown, Pennsylvania. And anyway, on the weekends, she usually went home. Uh, but anyway, she was living with friends of her mother and father uh, in their house. And anyway, we after two or three weeks, we had a, two or three different dates. And uh, then one weekend, she didn't go home. Uh, and we, you know, had dates. We, we had did quite a bit. And I had been working down there, making a lot more money than I was accustomed to up here. Mm -hmm. And I was saving about 25 bucks a week in the bank. And I had a few hundred bucks in the bank saved up. So I bought a, an old car, 10-year-old Oldsmobile. Nice. And anyway... We started, uh, then I, she invited me down to her home and we would go down there on the weekend sometimes. They, her father had his own business. He, he ran a business repairing generators for the coal mines underneath that area. And uh, they had three riding horses and uh, he, she only had one sister, and uh, anyway, uh, the whole thing is, it just went on, we got chummier and chummier, and uh, eventually her mother came down with cancer, and That must have been very rare then, cancer was much more rare then than it is today. Yes, and she was only 49, the mother. Wow. The daughter was about 20, you know, yeah. 19 or 20. So anyway, uh, the, the mother, as I say, was only 49. And one time, uh, we decided we wanted to get married. So anyway, uh, we announced that one time when we were there on the weekend and about a half an hour after we had announced that we wanted to get married the mother beckoned to me and took me into a room uh, close by yes. and shut the door and she said to me Bob what kind of income do you have? And I said, quite proudly, I thought I was doing well. I said to her, uh, $77 a week. And she, just like pricking a balloon, she said to me, that's not very much, is it? And I thought, what the hell do you expect? 